This is BBC News. I'm Geetha Gurumuthi. The headlines at eight. As Ukraine prepares to declare a state of emergency and calls up its reservists in response to what it calls increased Russian aggression, a stark warning from the head of the UN. We meet in the face of the most serious global peace and security crisis in recent years, and certainly in my time as Secretary General. Our world is facing a moment of peril I truly hoped it would not come. President Putin says he's still open to diplomacy, but that the security and interests of Russia are non-negotiable. Tonight, the US toughens up sanctions on Russia's Nord Stream gas pipeline, while the EU finalizes its sanctions package. But here, the government faces criticism for not going far enough. It is absolutely vital that after this first barrage, uh, we work in lockstep with friends and allies around the world. And we squeeze him simultaneously. The Prime Minister promised that in the event of an invasion, he would unleash a full package of sanctions. If not now, then when? In today's other news, the grieving mums fighting for the truth about why their babies died in one of the biggest maternity care scandals in NHS history. And dozens of flood warnings remain in place across England following Storm Franklin. Good evening. In the last few minutes, the Ukrainian government has approved that plans to impose a state of emergency to last 30 days and citizens living in Russia are being urged to now leave immediately. Well, the rhetoric from Moscow is defiant, with President Putin saying the security of Russia and its citizens is non-negotiable. In the UK, Boris Johnson is warning Moscow there would be even more sanctions if its military operations along the border with Ukraine escalate across the frontier. It was a dramatic turn of events when President Putin said he'd recognised two areas in eastern Ukraine as independent, the so-called People's Republics of Donetsk and Luhansk. He also said he'd send in troops as peacekeepers. Well, America warns that would be an invasion. The separatist enclaves have been controlled by Russian-backed fighters at war with Ukraine since 2014. And our international correspondent, Ola Garin, has sent us this report from the front line in Egypt. 